In this drawing tutorial video, I'm gonna make it very simple and use only four tools. An HB or B charcoal pencil, whatever type you have, a delicate and precise eraser, a thin blender, also known as tortillon or blending stump, a thick blender, or instead you can use a paintbrush or a makeup brush. First, choose your reference portrait and print it. After that, I use the gridding technique which allows me to get every facial detail perfectly reproduced. Divide your reference photo and your console paper into squares and assign numbers and alphabet letters for rows and columns. Once you're set, draw the outline of the face and hair. After that, start off with the eyes. The eyebrows make it easier to frame them. At first, you will be hesitant with the eyes. Your lines will be shaky. Remember to follow the curve of the eyelids, the iris, and the pupil. Watch out for light reflection. When you begin with the second eye, you have to notice the symmetry and reproduce it. Pay attention to detail, to soft edges and dark areas, where to make a soft line and where to make a hard one. Use the eraser on areas you want to highlight. Continue with the nose. The shadows are important and you should understand the anatomy of the person's nose before drawing it. Don't hesitate to make a darker layer of your first attempt of the eyes and nose. This time, focus on what you need to bring forward and push backward through the game of shadows. For the lips, bear in mind to create soft edges. It is okay to leave areas without any strokes to represent light reflection. Fill the lips with a blender, erase the grit part that you won't need anymore, and readjust the texture of the face with a soft blender. Make the face pop by using the blender at the outline. Detect the direction of the light and understand what parts of the face should be overshadowed and what other parts are supposed to glow. This step will create a 3D effect and make prominent cheekbones, thick lower lips and chin shape pop. Use the charcoal pencil to cast the shadows and the blender to spread it homogeneously. Don't forget that the neck is a very essential part when drawing a portrait create the neck curves while respecting the soft and hard edges. When drawing clothing items, it is important to represent the textile correctly. A light fabric like this one will create soft but multiple plies and will flow creating several curves and shapes. When you start with the hair, draw every lock from its beginning to its end. Follow the direction of each lock and reproduce the light it is reflecting. Bear in mind that there are no straight lines or rough angles. Hair is a series of curvatures. Use the blender to create a dark base and apply a second layer, but this time with more details. Apply as many layers as you find necessary. Go over everything a second time to add some corrections. Nothing is perfect from the first time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. Stay home and create something.